Next up is uh, Turner Towns. Thank you, Paul. I'd also like to thank the uh, Chamber for, for having us to call this morning. This is great. I'd like to recognize my family uh, over here to you know, kind of support. I'm going to spare you all the introduction. There should be cards on your tables. Uh, Uh, during my first term in office, I pledged to fight for three initiatives. Uh, the first is open government. Open government is a three-legged stool, transparency, participation, and collaboration. Transparency means more financial data is available, uh, such as putting the city's checkbook online. Transparency is also uh, broadcasting uh, uh, public meetings on uh, public access channel, online, archiving them. That's not just city council meetings. That's uh, City Council work sessions, water board meetings, all of the all of the municipal meetings, even school board meetings. Uh, an example of participation of uh, opportunities is having events such as town hall meetings out in the districts. Invite the school board members, the water board members, <coughs> other members of the council into the district at least semi-annually, maybe even quarterly, depending on, on the reaction, uh, to give the citizens an opportunity to engage with their elected elected leaders. An example of collaboration will be the formation of uh, citizen advisory committees to engage the stakeholders in specific issues in the city. My second major initiative that I pledge to fight for is a, a review commitment to the Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development Corporation to ensure adequate support of the business community. Uh, as the city has grown and will continue to grow, so too should the allocation of resources to these vital organizations. My third major initiative in my first term will be the implementation of processes and metrics to ensure that our government is right size in order to accommodate the growing needs of the city while at the same time remaining as small as possible. This means that law enforcement and other emergency services are properly funded so the enterprise is safe now and into the future. It also means that education is properly funded so we're able to sustain the best school system in this part of the state. It is, after all, the school system that sets us apart from our surrounding uh, communities. With these processes and metrics in place, it will ensure that spending will grow no faster than population adjusted for inflation, and neither should our tax revenues. With a little help and cooperation, these three initiatives can easily be accomplished in my first term. I truly believe that I bring a skill set to the table uh, that will help build a better enterprise for all. One more thing that, that I want everybody to know is that I want to put in a self-imposed term limit of two terms. I pledge to only serve two terms if I'm fortunate enough to be elected. I believe that every organization should always seek to, to add new ideas, fresh perspectives, and that eight years is plenty of time for me to put my mark on the city council. I humbly ask for your vote for District 5 City Council on August 23rd. If elected, I'll be honored to work.